Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 17 of Let's Play Arafel, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, Miranda has been defeated, so let's check on the king. Goddess, it's the prisoners! Ready yourselves for battle! Stop! We just defeated Miranda! She was... something worse than a vampire. But she was poisoning the king! What? Poison? Enough of this nonsense! Drop your weapons! We have the poison here with us. There may be a way to cure his majesty, but you must let us through. Serikesu, I... I'm under strict orders. We are going to save the king whether you let us pass willingly or not. Please don't make us fight you. Y yes my lady. If you're able to heal the king, please do it quickly. Oh, just let us through, okay. What? Who are you? What is the meaning of this? Guards! Queen Naira, please, let us speak to you a moment. We've come here to help. King Aragon isn't merely ill. He was being poisoned, and we have proof. Lady Serikesu, I have heard rumors you were involved in all this. Miranda was under the influence of vampires. She intended to lead an army to Blood Forest. It was a trap. The soldiers would be slaughtered, fed upon, and turned. She was trying to justify a war in order to weaken Atana for a later invasion. Forgive me if I'm unsure as to how I should react to that. I have no love for Miranda. But even so, <coughs> if true, this isn't merely a crime against Atana. It is a crime against humanity. Could even she be so cold-hearted? All the proof you need is piled up in the ruins beneath this castle, your highness. We left a trail of dead vampires behind us. They used captives as slaves to brew the poison. I will... have someone investigate these ruins. In the meantime... My queen, forgive me. But the king is taking a turn for the worse. Damn it! We got here too late. Not necessarily. Lita, do you still have that flute? I have an idea. For what? I take it you don't intend to play him a lullaby. I've been thinking about those notes I found in the alchemy laboratory. <coughs> this is no ordinary poison. If it reacts to sound, it was created by the Azariel family. Lita, play the song. I want to see what happens. All right. the goddess he's waking up wow this stupid flute is really great why would anyone make a poison with a musical cure the azariel family were once elves before they became vampires elven magic it often is musical in nature that is what is known as a song of power a way to use magic without the use of words i use the same technique with my harp there are many such enchanted elven instruments on arafel that flute must have been a gift to Arger from Nash Azariel himself. What? Who are... Shh. Be still, my husband. Save your strength for now. Well, it seems our work here is finished. I suggest we allow His Grace some time to recover, alone. I... Thank you, Serikesu. With all my heart. What you have done here will never be forgotten. I swear it. Thank Lita, Your Grace. I have assisted her in saving you. Not the other way around. Heh <laughs> It was nothing, really. We will speak with King Aragon when he has recovered. With your leave, Your Grace. Come along, all of you. Chapter 4 already? Wow, Chapter 3 is pretty short. Even though it was basically a big dungeon. Early the next morning... Again, you can only walk diagonally in cutscenes. Hey, Doran! Where is everybody? Sari Kester is recuperating in the castle. As for Lita... She needed some time alone to think about all that has happened, and what is now expected of her. 
Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot to take in. I guess I'll just go sharpen my axe or something. Adrian, wait. Perhaps it's none of my business, but I think you should talk to her. It's obvious you care for the girl. You're right. It is none of your business. Forgive me for this intrusion, then. But let me tell you a story. Long ago, I fell in love with a beautiful woman. She was everything to me. Well, almost everything, I should say. I was given a choice. I knew what I'd eventually be forced to reveal secrets to this woman that I did not wish to share. My other choice was to leave her so that they might remain hidden. I chose the latter, and I left her. Much time has passed since then, and the opportunity to love her has passed with it. I am telling you this because I know what it is to love, and watch it slip through your fingers. I have regretted my decision every day since then. Second chances are rare, Adrian. I certainly wasn't offered one. I think Lita could use your comfort right now, Adrian. Speak with her. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Thank you, Doran. You're welcome. Go on. Hey, Lita. Hey. Can I sit with you? If you want to. Do you, um, want to talk? Not really. I just... Arafel is literally resting on my shoulders. If I fail, the world will fall from the sky. How can I possibly prevent that? How can I break the stone curse on the elves? Why me? Why now? I don't want to be a hero, Adrian. I just want to go back home. Well... You wanted to be a hero once, do you remember? I always made you pretend to be the princess trapped in a dungeon when we were kids, and I was the knight that had to rescue you. Until one day, you made me be the one who needed rescuing, and you never let me pretend to rescue you again. Ah, you're right. I forgot all about that. Yeah, it was a long time ago, but I remember. You never let me rescue you again in our games after that. You were always reading books about adventures. You even learned archery because of the stories, even when everyone said you were too small. Well, now I can get out of Aloria and see the world, just like you always wanted. You can stop pretending to be a hero and really be one. But this isn't a game anymore. This is real. If I fail, I'm not gonna scrape my knees. If I can't do this, people are going to die. Abyss, it sounds like everyone is going to die. Azari made it clear when she spoke to me. I'm not the chosen one. None of this is on purpose. It's just bad luck. How can I save anyone? I'm just me. Yeah, that's a tough one. My dad, before he died, he said something to me about this sort of thing. He said a hero is just an ordinary person that doesn't give up when things get bad. There's more to being a hero than that, but I think that's the best place to start. Besides, you're not doing this alone. Adrian, that's sweet. But I can't ask you to keep traveling with me. You don't have to, extra space. Stay. No, you're right. I don't. But I will. Ah, touching moment and they're eavesdropping. Where's the girl? We have to get moving. With the king in better health... I intend to ask him for access to the Cave of Life. You're looking better yourself, by the way. Yes, the castle's healers are very skilled. Where is she? Perhaps we can give her a little time. We could all use the rest, but it'd do Lita a great deal of good. We don't have time to spend resting beyond what is essential. Sari, Lita has so much asked of her right now. Adrian is comforting her on the cliff behind me. Is he comforting her or comforting her? Even you were young and in love once. Do you remember? Oh, for the love of... Don't start with me, Doran. That is history. Buried in the past where it belongs. But you do remember. We can allow her a little more time, can't we? 
<sighs> I suppose. Of all the people that girl could have ended up with, it just had to be with you, didn't it? Yes, it did. At the ruins of Arae, Lord Nash meets with his second in command to discuss their plans. Your Lordship, I bear ill news. We have learned word, received word that Ziem has been defeated, and Miranda along with him. And I wonder who could be responsible for this. The little archer girl with the ring, I presume. It was her, my lord. We expect our ability to lure a human army into Blood Forest is now compromised. Incidentally, Fairmont did not assist Miranda in the binding. She did not die as a vampire. She became something else. I see. Azatel, have I ever told you what Baramon is? My lord? You returned as a human not so long ago. A few centuries or so, yes? You never saw the war. The eldest of us were turned as elves. Baramon is the eldest of us all. He is a truly powerful sorcerer. He specializes in dark magic, the sort that manipulates minds. I did not recognize him at first. He always obscures his face. Now I see why. I don't know what his game is, but I'm beginning to fear he is not our ally. Regardless, we will continue moving forward with the plan. Baramon's assistance is not required. Castle Atana was one of battle of many to come. The way to the Sunstone must be opened, with or without the infiltration of Castle Atana. Then we can at last be free of this curse. In truth, I had nearly forgotten. We worked at this for so long, I lost sight of the true goal. The Sunstone is the greatest power in Arafel. When we have it in our possession, we can be clean again. I honestly cannot recall what the sun looks like. From the darkness, I have watched a thousand years come and go. I am reminded of it any time it is quiet, and I have a moment to reflect. I will see the sun again. The girl now has three of the six artifacts of power. It is only a matter of time. Yes, she's guided by one of the Elven Council's spiritual projections. By Azari, in particular, is my guess. The final artifact of power is hidden away, locked within Eldranor, where the Elves made their final stand against us. There is a way to open the gates of Eldranor, a gift from the Elves to men, Soul Stones. Gather our warriors and assault Temple Orlean. Acquire the Soul Stones and bring them to me. Do not attack Lita and her party directly. I'm growing weary of our numbers dwindling to that girl. Assaulting Orlean won't be easy, even if you're only fighting humans. Bring our best with you. Yes, my lord. Oh, wow! I feel so much better. I can hardly remember the last time I had a chance to rest. I'm sure glad Siri Kesu gave me a break for once in my life and let me have a little time to myself. I can hear you, you know. Eh, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, the king is feeling better. Let's ask him if he'll open the way to the Cave of Life so we can go to Orlean. Yeah, <laughs> they're happy she's dead. I can see why, though. Okay, so apparently these flowers were not linked to poison. Hi. There are no words to express how much I thank you for what you've done here. There's something else you might be able to do for us. If you could, I don't know who I can trust after all of this. My husband has regained most of his facilities, but he's not completely himself just yet. The poison still seems to have lingering effects. Would you travel to the springs and speak with the alchemist Hannah? She could make a cure for this, I'm sure. Sure, we'll do that for you. I would task one of the soldiers with this, but it's difficult to say who is loyal and who isn't. Tell Hannah what has happened and give her that sample of the poison you acquired in the deep. I will reward you upon your return. Oh, cool, thanks. Ah, the heroes of Castle Atana. The effects of the poison still linger, but I think I will recover. It is a debt I can never repay, but allow me to try. Take this from the castle's treasury. 
Ooh, 5,000 coins. Awesome. Wow. Thanks, Your Highness. I would offer you more, but our treasury is low. I do hope what little I can offer will help you on your quest. This whole situation with Miranda has left us drained of funds. I let her take over the entire kingdom. How could I have been so easily fooled? I have much to atone for. As much as her, perhaps. About that, Your Grace. Our journey will take us to the Holy Land next. We need access to the Cave of Life. And you will have it, of course. The least I can do after all you've done is grant this request. Miranda should have never closed the way. Ah, she had served me loyally for years. She seemed a different person before I fell ill. I believe she was manipulated, through magic or otherwise. If your journey allows you to avenge her death, I can only pray you are able. Good luck, heroes of Atana, and may the goddess watch over you. Oh, thanks, I guess. Alright, so we have unfettered access to the castle now, which is nice. I think there is one thing we should do before we go. We should probably head back to the library and get some more skills. Yeah, especially for Lita. Hold on, what do I have for her skills anyway? Okay, so Elven Focus and Sunlight Fury are still at one. There we go. Uh, elemental burst all four thousand. Do I have that already? I don't. I don't know. I'll buy it, and if I already have it, I'll get refunded. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And I still gotta get some snow from one of those boys. All right. Well, at least we got a way straight to the springs. Hi. You look like there's something on your mind, dear. What can I do for you? We have a sample of some poison that was being used to make King Aragon sick. Queen Nara said you might be able to make an antidote. Hmm, let's see here. Ah, yes. This is a vampire's poison, if I'm not mistaken. It mimics the symptoms of the wasting sickness. I'll need ten Alaria wasp wings to make, make the antidote. There's a hive of them to the south of the springs. Bring them to me and I can help. Okay. So we gotta go south to some kind of a hive. Alright, well, that should not be an issue, I guess. Encounters might obviously still be an issue at some point. Because these enemies are a level up from what they were before. Like, they started as level 1 and then became level 2. I don't know if they become level 3 now, if there is such a thing. Okay, so I think it's across the bridge, and then you go down? I think that's the way to the hive? Yes, it is. And you have to be at least level 16 with equipment tier 2 to be able to get past those mokes. And they move pretty fast, too. You can find some inside as well. But let me check out the secret. Maybe I'll get a, another stone for my troubles. Ah, an earth stone. And 1,500 coins. Earth stone, I think, is for defense, right? There you go. I'll give it to Adrian. He's the tank. Okay, for some reason, we are outside again. Uh, let me see the stats of these wasps. 350 HP. Okay, I, I can deal with that. One casting a Seri Kesu's magic might be more than enough. They do hit kinda hard. And they also have poison. Oh god, they're all gonna have a turn. Nice. You get a nice bit of coins, too. So I got six wings out of that. 
I need at least four more. Let me recover a bunch of my HP first before we uh, take on the next one. That might just be enough. Likely, I think we only gotta do this, like, this might be the last battle we have with those wasps. Because, like, if we got six right there, just another four will set us up for success. Okay, the regular attacks can be annoying, but the poison does so little damage. Oh, we got seven that time. So whatever ones that we don't need, we can just sell for a profit. Because you can't really use them for anything else. So that's not really bad. Gives us more money for other stuff that we do need. Too bad you had to walk around the long way to get back to Hannah. But at the end of the day, I mean, at least we're sitting pretty. So once we get that taken care of, we'll head straight to the castle and fulfill another side quest. You have ten Alaria wasp wings then? Good, good. I'll whip up this potion. It's simple enough to make if you have the right ingredients. Well, same can be said for pretty much anything. There we are. Here, bring this to Queen Naira. This should help relieve the king of the last of his symptoms. Thanks so much! Sure thing. Just be sure the queen knows where it came from. I just did this for free. Oh, why did I keep thinking that was some bag you can cut with your knife? Alright, let's make it back to the castle. Good thing there's no time limit on this. Like, say, if the potion can spoil... That would not be fun at all. You've returned. Do you have the antidote for my husband? We sure do. It wasn't easy, but we got it. Oh, thank you so much. I'll make sure my husband takes this. Please, accept this reward. Only a thousand coins and 10,000 experience. And level ups for our troubles. Nice. There we go, that's better. I might as well explore the castle in case more side quests are available. Because that might actually happen. Well, first I gotta see if there are any. Like maybe some guards will have some stuff I need to do. At least you can tell who's got a side quest and who doesn't, rather than just talk to everybody because that would get dull real fast hey hey move oh thank you god that was annoying too bad I can't be like other games where you can push NPCs like in the event they actually trap you I don't think anybody would be in the secret room. That would make no sense. Okay, well, I guess there are no uh, other side quests. I guess we can go now. I suppose we can check out the prison. Oh, they'll let us through now. Okay. Yeah, they're still playing the joyful music in the prison for some reason. Even though it was not a joyful place. Huh, that's fair. So I think we can go straight to the Holy Land right now. Although, let me check my other quests. Vampire Stalker? 
Okay, I haven't even found that one yet. Let's see if I can go back to the hunting range. And if I remember correctly, it was near the plains. Is it a good idea for me to take on the Vampire Stalker, though? I guess only time will tell. Alright, so let's try to complete a little bit of extra side questing before we go to the Cave of Life. This is not the way to go. It is kind of easy to get lost here, I'll be honest. Oh, that's right. You gotta go left to the hunting range here as well. So I was technically in the right spot for a while. Wait a minute. Hold on. Did I not get that? Can I get that now? Or is that lost to me forever? Huh. Can't believe I missed that. Is there a way for me to reach it, though? Or could I only do that from that secret passage back at the springs? No, they wouldn't do that. There's probably another way to get up there. Did I even check this cave out? Yeah, I think I did. Because it's empty. Alright, just getting my sea legs again. For, like, what it is you gotta do to get around and stuff. Yeah, so I'm thinking there was, like, a circle around here. Oh, it was all the way there. Or was that just a treasure chest? I'll, let me just check so that I'm not thinking about it all the time. Oh, you're gonna get in the way, aren't you? What? Oh, okay! He just disappeared! That's a weird bug. <laughs> like, the enemy just... Sawed it off for no reason. Huh. No, this was just for treasure. Alright, well, let me go back. This was not gonna get me anywhere. Definitely not. Nope. Huh. I didn't know you can get trapped there. Alright, what's the fastest way to get to the hunting range? Well, it doesn't even say where to go there at all now. Unless it was through Atana. I'm thinking it was. Oh, you're here again. Yeah, you gotta go straight north, it seems. Yeah, like, up through here, I believe, you can get this way. Yeah, like, I think you gotta cross the bridge. It's been a while since I've been to the hunting range, though. Okay, I'm still going the right way. Starts through the quarry, and then you work your way around. Got it. Too bad there wasn't a crystal that goes to the hunting range. But you don't even have to go there very often. So let's go check that out. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't know there was a side quest here. Ahoy there, girl. Hunting's good this time of year. Care to lend me a hand? Sure. I was supposed to go hunting with my papa, but he, well, got hurt. So I'll help you out instead. I'm sorry to hear that, but I do appreciate the help. The hunting grounds occasionally get overrun with fox, wolves, and moon cats. If you help me thin their numbers a bit, I'll pay you. Make it ten groups. I'll be waiting right here when you're finished. Oh, so I guess I... What is happening? Why 
are enemies just disappearing? That, that makes no sense. If enemies are super weak, do they just die instantly as soon as you run into them? Because if so, that might explain it. Then maybe you're just too powerful to fight them normally. It's like Earthbound or something. Might as well check out the rest of the hunting range too. Maybe we will find that vampire stalker in the middle of this quest. Does it keep track of how many enemies you've killed related to this quest? You've killed three so far. Huh. Apparently groups that you run into and they die instantly, they actually count towards it. Good. I was worried to be like, oh, you kill them instantly, but you didn't fight them, so it doesn't count. Oh, this is a forced battle. These are just fox wolves. Like, they're level ones. So these are pretty easy. But these are, like, different, though. Because they're, like, not exactly the same enemy. Just an upgraded version of them. Maybe it means the species and not the actual name of the enemy. Like, these are star cats now. Maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, Adrian leveled up. Uh, what can you do? I'm gonna boost your agility more. I think putting points on agility would be the way to go. Because we obviously would like our ATB meters to go up faster. Navigating the menu for battle, it's just so annoying. Like, it doesn't seem very user-friendly. Like, it's trying to be, but it's kind of a letdown. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh, God. Alright, so far so good. There's a whole bunch of them right here. Good thing I recover MP pretty easily. But still, my MP stocks is so low. And you don't gain MP every level up. You have to actually choose to put it into that. How am I doing so far? Six. Ah, still got a little ways to go. But so far, not too bad. It's not taking too long. <laughs> I mean, I could be using the story mode ability. Which just kills them instantly, because it is repetitive battles. But where's the fun in that? Well, I guess it's a lot more fun than just me spamming the same attacks over and over. Why is there a hole here? This is a deep part of the uh, hunting range. There's nothing here. Alright. So this was a waste of my time. Ah, screw it, I'll just use story mode because, again, it gets a bit monotonous fighting the same enemies all the time. And it just saves on time, really. That's the whole purpose of this. Hey, Doran leveled up anyway. 
There you go. Give you a little bit more MP to work with. I can just spam this until we find Vampire Stalker. Oh, okay. It just gives you a chime to let you know. That's real nice. I thought I would have to keep checking regularly. Where is this Vampire Stalker? I think it would be in the cave. Because it's away from sunlight. I thought it would be in that deep part of the forest. Not here, either. I mean, he'd pretty much have to be in a cave or something. Or maybe in this little spot. It's heavily wooded. Oh, I didn't even go for that chest. Why didn't I do that? I had plenty of chances to get that. I didn't want to get in this fight. There, I'm thinning their numbers a little extra. <laughs> Maybe I should go back in those ruins when I get the chance. It seems to be the best spot to find a vampire. Like, away from the light. That would make a lot of sense. Hey! You got ten groups, huh? Nice job! That should make things a little safer for travelers out here. Here, you've earned this. Four thousand coins and experience. Can't say I have a problem with that. Alright, let me try to go get that chest now. Because that's going to be nagging at me for a while. Like, I was just right next to it, too. Also, this might be a good chance to scout. Wait, have I even been in there to look for the stalker? I don't think so. Maybe I should go do that. I don't think I've been in here already. Huh. Not in here. Let me read this one more time. North of the hunting range. So it'll probably be somewhere in that foresty area. Because technically it's north of the hunting range. Let me scout to see where else you can go. Like, let me go as far north as I can. Where have I not explored? I did not know there was a chest over here. I should probably take care of that later on. But more important matters need to be looked after. Yeah, like, up there would be the safest bet. And over here is just nothing. Alright, well, at least I got back over here faster. So I can't really complain about that. Let me go get that chest if I can. Don't think I can from this side, because I'll end up back over the bridge. Let me leave that alone for now. Come up this way. I think I just see him or something. Like, this is devoid of sunlight, technically. he's not here. Alright, well, you know what? Why don't I save and stop the video, because it has been going on pretty long. 
Maybe I'll find him between episodes, and then when we start the next one, I'll pinpoint where he's at. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.